Hey, old man. Damn, it's good to see you. What's it been, two years? Actually, Tom, it's been over three years since I moved in. Bloody hell. Yeah, now I remember. It was just after I got married, and last month was our third anniversary, so yeah, over three years. Time flies. It sure does. So, Adam, when did you move back to Columbus? I've been here about seven months. What? Seven months and you're just calling me now? What the hell, man? Well, Tom, you should know that I wasn't crazy about you when I left. Tom faltered. Hey, Adam, I thought we put that behind us. Adam stared at the man he once considered a close friend. Tom, you stole my fiance and married her. That's not good for a friendship. Tom wrinkled his nose. Oh, man, it wasn't like that. Nancy hit on me. I didn't steal her. Yeah, I know. Four months after I introduced her to you, she dumped me and went after a friend of mine with a fancy car and a big yacht. A guy who was supposed to be my friend. A guy who should have turned her down and pushed her away. Instead, you grabbed her without a second thought. Tom lowered his head. I'm sorry, man. She said you guys were over and asked me not to tell you anything because you'd think I was messing with you. Yeah, well, she just didn't want me to know that she'd already slept with you before she dumped my sorry ass. Bullshit. She was very upset when she showed up at my reception that Friday night. I invited her on board and she cried her eyes out. She said you guys talked and then she gave you the ring back. She cried on my shoulder and we had a few drinks. Once she calmed down, I offered to take her home, but she said she didn't want to be alone. So being the true gentleman that you are, you comforted her with sex. Fuck you, man. It wasn't like that. She was a mess. I put her on the front bunk and then went to my quarters. A few hours later, she woke me up by climbing into bed with me. She was naked and snuggled against me with her whole body. By the end of the weekend, I was in love. Funny, that's roughly what she did to me the first time we slept together. She saw what she wanted and just went for it. Okay, now you know everything. I didn't do it. And besides, you guys already broke up. She gave you the ring back. It was over. Oh, it was fine. She just waited till next Tuesday to tell me it was over. Oh, and Tom, she never gave my ring back. Bitch said she lost it. I guess she sold it. Tom shook his head and turned away. You're lying. She wouldn't do that. You're just mad because she chose me and we're happily married. Adam laughed. I'm not mad. Well, I was mad at first, but it didn't take me long to get over her. Hell, the truth is that now I'm grateful that you saved me from that evil bitch. Tom's face turned red. That's my wife, asshole. Watch your mouth. Adam held up his palms placatingly. All right, all right. I didn't come here to fight with you. So why are you here? Like I said, I owe you a debt of gratitude for saving me from that, uh, woman. She only bought me for a $6,000 ring. I have no idea how much your boat is worth. What the hell does that mean? You don't understand. You're just as blind as I was, Adam said, laughing loudly. You're just another sucker she played. Fuck you. Don't call me again. Tom stomped away irritably, but stopped when he heard his wife's amplified voice coming from my phone. Of course I sold your ring, she laughed. You can consider it payment for services rendered. I did catch Tom, and he was oh so easy to deal with. I'll be in it when his daddy dies, and then I'll get the cash and live the life I'm entitled to. I turned off the tape. I saw her leaving the mall a few days ago, walked to her car, and turned on my phone to record. There was no one around us. She couldn't help herself. She had to brag about using me and stealing the ring. I think she enjoyed trying to humiliate me. I'm guessing your daddy, the lawyer, would be happy to help you divorce that bitch. You should have never let her talk you out of that prenup, buddy. I smiled broadly at my former friend.